Hey guys, these are my crescendos. A little light, but they're transitioning beautifully. These guys are in 65s. This is all the training that I've done. Topped a couple times and then pulled out to the cage. I'm kind of an underneath shot of it. It's only about... Uh, four feet out of the out of the grow bag. This one is almost identical right next to it, but it's just spelled out a little bit differently. I left this one large cola right in the middle to fill out and it is filling out nicely. It even filled out some of the canopy below it if you can see. But, yeah. Here's the structure on that one. Pretty similar deal. Topped and LST'd out. Oh my god, my nice guy. And here's the problem, child. Uh, she is a behemoth. She's way bigger than the other ones. Even some of these branches I've pulled out, if you can see just stretched them out really opened up this canopy there it's, i mean it's almost twice as wide as the other one just as tall but i mean if you see this got some random i mean it looks like a combination of a phosphorus and mag deficiency feed it both um, <coughs> i'll show you in a second what the problem is i mean beautiful flowers still are starting to form purpling there on the hairs but um come here we got some stem rot that's um really stopping the flow of nutrients up through the plant and i'm treating it with some phosphate salts and uh you know just hydrogen peroxide as a like bark application spray right on there and then the salts as a foliar just to stop the spread, and it has. But um, the plant doesn't look very happy. Got a cool, oop, sorry, hey, uh, got a cool structure here going on. Pretty fat stem, and I've done a lot of training to really open up this canopy in the front. You see these buds right here. These were super cropped down just before flowering to open up this center part. Make sure you get maximum penetration all the way through. <laughs> Five gallon crescendo. Topped once. Let it bush out. I think it might give me an ounce. Maybe maybe two ounces. Hold the phone. Look at these. These are purple magic by Ethos as well. Look how fucking this is August twenty-sixth. August 26th, and it's, I mean, th these are already dense. I mean, I don't want to squeeze them too much. I mean, they're not that dense, but you know, they're starting to pack on the weight already. And they are smelly, beautiful, stinky fruit. They're sticky as all hell already. Little bit of color, maybe? Not much. They'll probably pack on all the purple at the end, but look at the shape of this plant. I mean, it is all just cola. Hopefully you can see what's going on with this training of the plant. It's basically a modified central leader that has been pulled back and topped once. Uh, and then from there, branches out. And all these branches are just trained out to the side so they get maximum light penetration. And they're allowed to get nice and bushy. So 
see these colas coming up out the edge. This plant, however, just because of how fast it flowered, didn't get quite as big. Didn't stretch. I'm okay with that though. This is her sister. Another purple magic. A little bit taller, a little bit later finishing, more golf ball size snugs. But it's starting to stack on really hard. Just so you see, you see little individual hard nuggies. Coming up all the way up until, you know, it starts collecting a little bit denser in here. The shape of this one's uh, not big, but bigger than the other one. Um, trained similarly, pulled back and popped. Trained from there, just all of these things. The only thing with this one is it didn't get quite as bushy because this branch, which I usually make a second central leader and pull out towards towards me more. If you see here, this and this, these two buds at the top of that, they'd normally be way out here, and the inner would be way fatter. But the branch snapped on me, and. So I just tied it up. I, I could have let it fall down and train it that way, but whatever. Yeah, these two are actually my favorite kind of, I don't know, they're oddballs, so I like them in the garden. Two plants, 165 gallon, just trained out to each individual side, popped once, and then trained from there. The Tiva style stacking on this one. August 26th, just starting its flowering. And on the right, a little bit bushier, but also a little bit later starting. You can see it's just really not starting to go yet, but stacking and all the way up the plant for the most part. It's really weird. It has pretty equal lateral branching, which I can't seem to focus on right now. Down here. Like, uh, yeah, this stuff. Kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know if you can just see, see just how ridiculously resiny this stuff is. It's, holy shit. What the fuck? Just through some autos. Nora, Northern California is on 9D. August 15th or something like that, these were planted. Uh, we sprouted, I mean, you know, thrown in water. So something like maybe six days in the ground. They look like this. I don't know. They might not do anything. They were free seeds, we'll see. That one already looks retarded. This one literally is retarded, but you know. Not necessarily, you know, not necessarily greasy or nothing, it's just starting flowering, but the individual size of these crystals, hold on, sorry, yeah, I think that's the best I'm going to get, but here, let's see. They're just so big. Huh. Anyway. Any questions, comments, just leave them down in the description. If you got a channel, let me check it out. Thanks for stopping by.